Alright guys, we got Batman here finally. It's a little late, but we got it. And now it is time to actually open it. This is an all-in Batman. Keelan, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? It feels Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman would be a little unfair around Batman, huh? Hi. Not for Batman, but for everybody else. Because Wonder Woman's got two off that. Yeah, she's too strong. Alright. And let's see. Now this is a little damaged right here, so I'm hoping this is okay. And I'm probably going to have to take everything else out, out from the uh, off camera because it's so big. All right, I don't think I have to take all that out, but minimal packaging, that's for sure. So hopefully none of the boxes are all banged up. It actually looks like we're pretty good here. One thing to note, June 4th, Season 2, I'm going to have a details video uh, before that, detailing a lot of the information that you need to be aware of there. It's for the 80th anniversary, of course. I wish that wet. And, uh, I don't know. I liked it. I and, uh, so, and then June 4th, obviously, we'll, I'll be covering the campaign specifically on that. All right, so I'm going to, i got some dice here, take this off camera and take these boxes out and we'll, we'll do them one by one here. All right, so let's start. Uh, Kaylin, can, how many of these can you name? Let's name them. Batman. Uh, I think those are both Batgirls. Uh, so is it a Batgirl Batman. and a Batwoman? Do you know which one's which? Um, Batgirl and Batwoman. There you go. Um, Robin. Mm-hmm. That'll say Robin again. Mm-hmm. Um, Anything else? That kind of looks like Green Lantern, but just blue. <laughs> Green Lantern, but blue, that's Nightwing. I really like Nightwing. All right, let's go on and get into it. So, uh, love the full art. Again, Monolith knocks it out of the park when it comes to not even putting their symbol on here, which, I mean, you know, is probably a tough decision there because obviously you want your symbol all around Batman. But, um, really appreciate the full art here. And on the back, let's see. So, on the back, they just do some <laughs> content loading and then. They just say 57 miniatures, 70 cards, 25 hero sheets, all that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. And it looks like, conveniently, we can just open it like this. How I could tell on which one was Batgirl and which one was Batwoman mm -hmm. is I've never seen Batwoman before, but I've seen Batgirl. Oh, you've never seen Batwoman before? No. She's got this really red hair that I always do really cool in the comic books, uh, uh, using that color and stark red hair which is cool all right so Yay. here you take this be kind to it here's our art print we got this was um unlocked there and i really appreciated the artwork there that's really cool all right so do you know who that is uh, he's kind of stylized so it's a little weird I forgot his name. bane bane he's got the luchador yeah, mask I've seen getting his venom and everything very There's cool art Batman. print here Bat catwoman come on Cat you, i know you know Cat. catwoman <laughs> All right, uh, it's okay. It's all right. All right, so we got the rule book here and the mission book. It's nice and thick here. Very cool. So the rule book. First thing we need to check, and it doesn't look like there's an index. Um, especially with the rule book, this like there really should be an index. This is involved. This is way thicker than the Conan one. <laughs> uh, some really cool art though throughout, which is nice. It looks well laid out which is helpful. So ideally finding things shouldn't be too hard. Let's check the table of contents at least. This is um, the different one. However, I would have really appreciated an index. Pretty detailed uh, table of contents here, which is good. Some great art. Uh, well, that'll be a fun read anyway. All right, can, hey, can you do the mission book? Do the mission book. It's been stolen. All right, here is the uh, mission booklet here. Uh, so a very themed where it has like, like all oh, this is useless, right? This is just here for the kind of the theme here, but you can still read everything, looks pretty okay. So some wasted space, but it looks like really each thing's taking two to three pages anyway, which is the same as it did in Conan. So this whole page is just this and this, and this is kind of- Are you going backwards or- are you going I am going backwards. Okay. Cool art in the front though, in the back. Very nice. How many have we got in here? Game board rules. Um, uh, they're not numbered, but quite a few. Quite a few missions. 
which is exciting. Okay. Really, really looking forward to that. All right, take, take that. I want to look at this. All right, so uh, let's get into the. Oh, let me fix this cord here. Why is Catman purple? All right. Oh, Look at the dice here. Lots of dice. Wow. So in Conan, it was three for each color, but we didn't have these white um, or black. Or we said yellow, orange, and red. So lots and lots of dice. Uh -huh. I'm going to take a look at a few of them here. You can kind of see them there. Uh, a few marks, but otherwise looks clean. Nice and clean. All right. There you go. So loud. In the meantime, let's go ahead and look at some of these tiny cards. Tiny cards. All right, obviously with this all in of Batman and my OCD unboxings, this is going to be a long haul, so you're in for a little bit of a ride here. If you appreciate the detail I do show in this unboxing, please feel free to like the video. That certainly helps it out. Share it around. Um, if somebody hasn't seen an unboxing yet, or, you know, any... Maybe they haven't seen an actual like review inside of an unboxing component wise. Uh, I'm really liking the uh, the art here. Like it almost looks uh, it almost looks like uh, 3D, like, like computer graphics. My daughter's keeping me on. Hey, uh, if if as anybody with Azrael has that, that's kind of fitting. Any might start with that. Very nice though. These these, these are good. Um, good quality. Just like Zombicide cards, same uh, thickness and a little, little glossy. See those? Oh. All right, so here we got cubes. Yeah, no, I'm really hot today. It's getting warmer, uh, but otherwise good. Yeah, these are fine quality. Oh, yeah, here you go. So uh, I, the cubes are interesting because in, in Conan also used the gems. I'm not sure if we're gonna get gems or not in this. We got back cow. That's the most important character here, obviously. Let me center this a little bit. We have that. Wasn't there like a video about back cow? I don't know. Like I actually just uh, I just started reading uh, Batman Inc. Uh, I had actually never read it, and so I finally saw back cow, which is kind of fun. Um, really, I'm trying to get to at least issue eight because a certain character dies in issue eight that I I missed in my first uh, read through of uh, Snyder's. Batman. Oh, come on. Here, do you need help? I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, you do it all the time? I do it all the time. Are you the unboxer? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I really appreciate the box with the trays here. Everything is inside of it. It's not clip-on. I'm going to take a look at some of these. Mm, Alright, so we got a single mold police officer here. Let me get my little pointer. Alright. Uh, so you can see a tiny bit of flash. This will scrape right off. That's perfectly fine. Uh, good detail, especially on the coat pocket here, or, you know, the, the coat here in the bags for the scale. Uh, yeah, this one looks great. Uh, good facial detail. Hey, no, don't, don't do that. Instead, instead, focus on making sure I am in center. All right, so this guy is the SWAT rifle guy. I have already painted him, uh, so you can check that on the channel. I uh, Monolith sent me some miniatures earlier to show you guys during the Kickstarter, and so I painted a few of those. Um, here's the textured base. Uh, so this is, you know, some of these show up better than others. It depends on how how deep it is, and it looks like the base is a little wobbly. So uh, you know what? Not as much as I thought, but you see right there. Supposed to be a dancing a little wobbly. You can kind of see him here, like this one is a little bit as well. What? So some wobbly bases. Uh, let's see here. Here's a, like a baton DC. guy. Uh, we got DC copyrighted on the bottom there. So again, depending on how thick this is, some of them will show a little bit better than others. Uh, Detail-wise, his hand kind of dissolves here. He doesn't really have any fingers here. Uh, like at all like there's a, a couple little here uh, This hands better. This hand has some fingers, which is good. This one however does not Let's see if that's kind of the only one like that or not um, Yeah, this one's a little bit better a little bit better. So that may have just been a little bit of a bad one here 
Okay. I'll take him out. Don't worry about it. All right, we got. Uh, looks like a hobo guy. Maybe I'm just judging him too much by his uh, really baggy pants, and which will take a wash really well, by the way. Um, but I don't know how tall that would, those pants are made for. An overcoat and magnificent beard and beanie he's got going on here. Very cool, though. I like it. I think these are actually civilians here. Um, here's another lady, and she's like this businesswoman. Very well done here. I actually like this. Um, you got some clear definition of like her coat here. Her hair has some nice texture. Her face is perfectly molded here. Uh, her, like, I don't know what, that's not a purse or a briefcase or anything. I don't know what that is. Ah, the drone. I have the drone here. So this is a bit obnoxious. It didn't go clear here. It's definitely blue. I mean, it's fine. It's okay. Um, maybe this was meant to look kind of like architecture in the game. I'm not sure, like under a subway, you know, above ground tram system or something. I don't know. Uh, this looks really well done, though. I like that. Yeah, looks fine to me. Some good detail here. A little bit of mold line around the side here, which is kind of unfortunate. Would have rather had one maybe in half that way. I don't know if that would... I mean, you got to kind of have it on a plane, so I guess you kind of have to, but... I don't have too many of those anyway. Uh, let's see here. That's the SWAT guy. It's his face under there. Um, what's nice about this is you don't have to paint his eyes. You can just shadow it. Dude's beefy, good pose. Yeah, I like that one. And last one here, I believe, yes, is the guard here. So, as you can see, bless you. Um, that'll literally be the sneeze heard around the world. Uh, so, single mold here, so it is kind of attached to his arm. Um, but they did a pretty good job with that. You can see the flash here, uh, which is a little bit more, um, but at least it's... And that does actually kind of curve to the front, which is unfortunate. I'd rather had it on the side. And then the kind of the the point here where it's poured in uh, it didn't quite melt perfectly, but detail is good. Just a little bit of cleanup. I really like the uh, the texture on all their clothes. They did a really good job. I was just when I saw a little ship. Oh shit! Uh, Trey, a little bendy, but does this job. Um, it's actually thicker than like the crinkle ones we get. Okay, so, uh, there is no lid to this, and it looks like maybe he was turned? I don't know. No, maybe he was supposed to be that way. He's supposed to be punching back out there. All right, so, let's go ahead and look in here. Here's, uh, Catwoman number Uno, and she's got this, does she have a square thing here? You can track I don't know if she's normally has this big old square here. That seems odd to me. I'll have to check that. Let me know in the comments below. Does does, does yeah, your right Catwoman have a square, does it? Okay, it does. Alright, fair enough. Part of a belt. Um, but I don't really see the other detail there. Anyway, uh, I do like the uh, um, whip. And it's not like over thickened or anything. It's got some good, uh, good ridges on there. Alright, here's uh, the purple Catwoman with the kind of funny mask. Uh, those eyes are going to be a f fun to paint, I say that jokingly. Uh, but really though, really good detail on the face here. Again, the tail's really cool. Uh, a little bit of flash, but not too bad. Let's see, down here and down the side of the leg. But her fingers are really well done. Yeah, I like that one. <clears throat> I want to see back cow. You want to see back cow? We'll get to back cow. All right. Now, this one I heard, yeah, there's a little bit of a gap here, you can see, around the cow. I will have to fill that up. That is definitely uh, a bit too much to just excuse from, the, like, a cape shadow or anything That's like that. That's cool. So I'll have to, have to do that. But the pose is very cool. They put a little rock here to add a little bit more support. Um, yeah, she seems good. Good support. Again, single mold, so this is, well, that's actually two, I suppose, but the arm's part of the second one here. Uh, but this was by its own, so. Uh, but that works. She's got, uh, like, a little better. Is that? I think it's just flash. I'm going to pick it off. All right, there we go. Yeah, because her battering or, uh, is right here. And that's well done. Yeah, I like that one. Cool. All right, here's another one. So we did finally get her. I know a lot of you were wanting her and were upset we didn't get it. Poor point right here. I'll have to kind of uh, trim 
love the cape. This cape actually looks like a almost different material, right? Which is very nice to do. Again, they all have this base here. Uh, this seems a little bit thicker and will probably show up with a wash better than some of those other ones. Uh, yeah, no, she's great. I love the, the hair coming out there. Very cool. All right, now we got this Batman, who is really cool because he can... Uh, looks right here is kind of the, the seam there. They did a pretty good job, at least on mine, for the assembly there. Um, except I don't like that. I don't quite know what that is. Probably just a guide or support structure or Where's something. Where's his base? So he can be oh. on two different bases. He can be on this one. Like so, more or less. Again, I'd have to really push him in there, but... So he can be like this, which is very cool, or he can be, got it, I got it, I got it, don't worry about it, on this one, which isn't quite as exciting, i.e. I think you know which one I'm going to be doing, but still very cool, that's cool that we got two options there, I dig that, and they're both well done. All right, here is kind of the main Batman here. Again, have to clean up the poor point there. There is a um, a mold line going across the cape. Kind of obnoxious. I would have rather have had it actually ride a ridge of some kind, uh, just because I think that'll be a little difficult to uh, to clean up perfectly. Um, very well done. Uh, like the faces here are really really great, and they do have their their fingers here. Uh, which is good. You can definitely see he has his fist. Um, this still looks a little bent to me. Like they all, the bases I think could have used a bit of a harder plastic or more support during shipment. Yeah, see how he's a little wobbly. There's a lot of a lot of wobbliness. All right, and back cow. So back cow does have the demon star here. So we got the little star on the butt and the uh, the mask here covering the face, which is perfect. And obviously his magnificent cape, or her magnificent cape. And the bell, gotta have cowbell. Love it, that one's funny. Uh, again, I don't know how much this will show. This base is very shallow. I appreciate the texture, but it'll be a little hard Can to get some detail in there. Maybe, we'll see. All right, uh, so again, uh, two mold here. But otherwise, I love this cape. I love how it's fluoroed like that. And this seems quite straight for what it is. All right, this is a good pose. I really like this. These poses are really good. A lot of the, the women have these two, uh, two pieces here that are put together, uh, which are mostly okay, but uh, still for a while. Right. A little bit. Yeah, I see most of them. All right, so they did not mold her uh, fishnet stockings on here. Um, so we might have to, to work on that a little bit, but this is surprise. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of scary right there. I don't necessarily want to show every single one here. Uh, so this was another one that had kind of a lot of base to it. Uh, so we got a green arrow here and his, uh, ooh, the hair over oh, there. Sometimes you find hairs and you're like, I don't think that's mine. Either way, I like that. I appreciate the basing there. Uh, Azrael, we got to get his uh, his fire look in there. That looks great. A little bit of a flash there. I can trim that off. Uh, again, different kind of cape, which I appreciate. That'll be a lot of fun. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next one here. There you go. Oh, oh, that's it for this box. Here, can you put the trays back in? Got it? You got it. All right, I do appreciate, by the way, all of these, uh, oh my god, we even got foam in here, wow, very nice. Very cool, I like that, that's very handy. All right, so here we got the, uh, the trays. It looks like, again, it's double thick, so you can really put stuff in here, all the cubes and everything, which is awesome. Uh, you got your different abilities and, and whatnot on here for your character trays. Great there. Hey, and now here we have all of the, kind of the, <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be like that, that's funny, all of the, the actual heroes that you put in there, go ahead and break that, 
All right, so what you do is you just put it in right there, and then that's your hero. Just nice. like that. So that's how you choose your hero there. Here you go. Uh -huh. so, so. And then on the back, get a little bit about each of them, which is very fun, and some art, which would be great for painting. It looks like the full art, which is awesome. Really appreciate that. Thank very you. cool. Alright, there you go. And now the boards. Now, if Monolith does anything right, they do their cardboard. Fantastic. Um, very well done cardboard here. So let's see here. It's going to be very big, so I'm not going to be able to show you all of it, but you can see some of the art here. They put a lot more symbols here uh, than Conan, but the art itself is going to be awesome. Oh my gosh. And I am not disappointed. That looks fantastic. Like just the, like uh, the, the the lighting that you see on it and this is the amount of detail you get. Very, very cool. Very fun. Because like this that. is the super where Joker goes, right? Oh. Anyway, so then you get two of those and that's it. So that is the hero's box. There's still the villain's box and then several expansions. So we'll have to do all that. So take it away. All right, why don't you name some of these? Now that we got the villain box out, um, see what you got here. Aqua girl. Aqua girl. <laughs> or aqua woman. The poison ivy. Or something. Looks like her. Um. Joker. Mm-hmm. Starts with the B. Bane. What else, what else we got here? Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. Penguin. Penguin, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I know anybody mm -hmm. else. Scarecrow, Two-Face, Mr. Freeze, Clayface, the Riddler. We got a whole bunch here. On the back, same kind of thing. Design a little different, but... uh. Oh, look at that. You even get these free starting points. <laughs> you found one? Is it good? This one isn't very good. Yeah, yeah. I got it. I did all the work. Oh, yes. Here. Alright. Hey, you didn't name all of them. It's because it's actually one art piece. So. Actually, here, let me go and show that off real quick. Oh, I think. Oh. Yeah, I can see it on the side. Yeah, so this goes like that. So it's actually all one piece of art. Pretty all cool, huh? Boxes together? Mm, just those two, and then the two expansions, actually, I think, go together too. All right, let's get into it. One of the benefits of being Kickstarter exclusive, the whole thing, is that you don't have like that KSE box. Instead, all the boxes are just the boxes, which it's is kind of nice. Glittery. Yeah, we'll wanna. <laughs> it's glittery. Here is a tray. This is much bigger than the Conan River tray. All right, so on this, this is where you'd put the very texture. They really went all out here. You could really paint this, I suppose. The numbers here, you can put little things in there and little tokens in there and whatnot. Where your gems go, your cards go. All right. Nice and thick too, which is really cool. That um, sort of reminds me um, from Guardians of the Galaxy. The... Oh, Gamora? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, huh? All right. So now, this is a little bit bigger because they have some of these big guys here that take up a lot of space. Put in here. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Even with the lid. Alright, so we got poison ivy plants. Let me get my poker. My pointer. And we'll get started here. Oh uh, yeah, I like the I like the texture. Um, very kind of smooth texture on everything. Very plant-like. I don't know. This seems a little muddled, but it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe it was meant to be that way. Kind of hard with plants. It works either way. All right. 
Let's see here. We got, uh, I don't know, just some thug here. Uh, the uh, weapon is actually really well done. Nice and hard lines on like the magazine. And you can hear that? Good detail there. Really like that. <laughs> this guy's great. I love his like his little, I think, I don't know, uh, a little top knot maybe. Again, gun seems good. Not really bent anywhere. See, it's kind of pushing up his his uh, shirt there. Uh, his chains are broken off, but he don't worry. He's wearing it around his neck too. Number nine. It'd be cool if they all had different numbers, but I think they're all number nine. <laughs> Very nice. I, I like this uh, textured base here. Uh, so here's like the Riddler's group. Here you can tell by their the question marks. Very nice. A little bit of a poor spot. These seem great though. They're probably one really right. like the same person. Uh, Mr. Crowbar Man. This uh, is quite intact. Man, because it's like going into his uh, clothes again, which I actually kind of like that interaction. I don't mind that at all. That was the gun. Looks quite similar to this guy. <laughs> Do they? No, no, they have a different face. That's good. <laughs> pretty close, though. Pretty close. All right, let's let's look at some of these more interesting people. Here's the the, the skinny guys from uh, Bloom, I believe. It's kind of cute. Uh, we got like cool masks here, like that. Very cool. All right, moving right along. There you go. So this is yeah. One thing I did here, you have to attach the net. Uh, to the guys there. Uh, what I'm curious about is whether or not they'll still store that way or not. So let's see here. Uh, I think we're going to have to get these. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll do one or the other. So they did put a lid on these. And again, you got these uh, inlays here to kind of keep trying to help keep everything in place. I much prefer that over the clip on I've been unboxing recently. Are. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, Scarecrow Finch. Again, I've already painted, so you can see this painted up. That also means I, I already sent it out to one of my patrons because I knew I was getting another one. So uh, somebody on my Patreon was sent uh, just recently, actually, their uh, Bane Venom, the Scarecrow Finch, and that Squat Rifle guy. And I love this model, by the way. I already talked about it, but the fact that it's, it's like a... Uh, uh, He's really good to see his foot is coming out through here, and it's all wrapped around him. Very, very cool. Just a cool pose. And straight out of the comics, which is great. Firefly is also really cool. Uh, that's just awesome. You can do some really cool OSL effects there, I bet. You can see him. It's like swooping out of his feet. Also add some support. Very nice. Uh, did you get one? All right, so there's kind of the net that they would have. Whoops. I'm going to glue that on, kind of like that, um, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like there's probably space, maybe, looks like that. I'm, I'm indeterminate about that, I don't know. Here's some of the Court of Owls, great storyline for Batman, for sure. Swords nice and straight, like that. Uh, Poison Ivy here, I didn't notice these... Uh, Vines that she's holding on to and growing on. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Gotta get the hyenas. <laughs> or, or whatever they are. <laughs> I like I get super skinny and super fat. I like that style. Uh, here's one of the Harley Quinn. Classic costume Harley Quinn here. Again, the face is very well detailed. Nice big cartoonish gun. Appreciate that. Look at that. Look how straight that is. Very nice. Obviously ABS plastic here, and it's used quite well. That's very cool. Huh? Uh, here's kind of the more modern Harley Quinn with her mallet. You got to get the mallet there. Um, again, look at that base, though. Super, super uh, wobbly base. Going to have to fix that. That's unfortunate. Here's regular Bane. Already beefy enough, and uh, I think Bane Venom's probably in there. Ra's al Ghul, love the capes, I like how like commanding he is here. He's got like his hand up, and he's definitely yelling at Batman at that time or something, which I really appreciate. And again, the sword, ABS, very straight. 
haven't really seen any bent things besides the uh, the bases. Uh, Joker, a very cool pose there. I like how he's holding the gun. Very Jokerish. That is one curved back. <laughs> Again, straight sword. Really appreciate that. All right. That's enough of that. Let's get to the big guys, huh? Oh wait, and then here we got some terrain. So you got like your computer terminal. Uh, I really appreciate these objectives like this. Uh, little like explosives, stuff like that. Very nice. That's a nice touch. I I really like uh, unlocks like that, stretch goals like that. All right, some of these big guys. So this is kind of a bummer. Here's Tusk, and he's done really well. Um, a little bit of mold line here, uh, but easy enough to trim. I, I bet it's a little tight in there, but that's all right. Yeah, I'm not sure how this was supposed to. I think he was probably supposed to clip in there. These are great though. Let's, let's not take them out ahead of time. Yeah, so this was the Bane that I sent out to one of my patrons. He's really fun to paint. Uh, the muscle detail there is just so... Uh, on point it's so easy to do and I like how his hands and obviously don't grow so much so it's like this huge bulky arm to this little hand really really fun character though and I got killer croc here very much looking like a croc in great detail everywhere um, this is kind of interesting I don't know what happened there I'll have to smooth that out um, which it should work but that's a that's a bit rough there I'll do what I can if I can't I'll ask for a replacement they'll be able to replace it no problem and your replacements, by the way, because I've, I've done this enough times, come pretty quick. A lot quicker than this. Clayface, he's huge. I mean, that is that is a big mini. Uh, very cool. Not as big as bat here. Very bat-like. Love the texture. Look at all that. That is great. And that's thick enough to where it'll show up on a, a, a dry brush, I bet even. I wouldn't be surprised. Either way, you can definitely paint it on. Uh, pretty pretty wobbly, right? A little scary even with this. Um, but bendy is just because of the plastic. I think it's all right. But yeah, probably handle them with care. Uh, speaking of handling with care. Careful. Yeah, I can't even get them out. So these are clipped in on the base. Uh, just FYI. So uh, actually not as bad as I thought. He's still pretty all together. You can pick him up like that. It's fine. Want to see him? Oh. Whoa, back <laughs> and let's get into. Okay, I think that's it for this. There you go. Take it away. Tokens. Okay. So this is where they put the tokens for the game, which you know I'm going to be punching out. Oh yeah. Ooh. Let's see fall out. Looks like they're punching out. Perfect. Look at that. Great punch out. All right, we're not even punch them all out. I want to. No, not right now. It's gonna be a mess. It's so fun. I know. We'll punch them out later. There you are. All right, two boxes down. Several more to go. Bless you. That's two sneezes. Let's do something small here. So this is uh, just a, I don't know what this is. I think it may be a campaign that we unlocked, so like another book. Yeah, I'll take that. See, so it's got, again, some more information there. But I like how it's just, it's, it's all in theme here. I really, I really appreciate this. That's, that's some cool storage. So we got... Yep, another, let's see, Narrow Chronicles, ah, so one's in French, one's in, all right, so, here we go, I'll take the French and one. English here, so just another, whoa, look at that, that's crazy, love the art, as always, so another campaign, you get your cards, you've already seen the cards, you've, you get the uh, character sheets you're going to do, ah, this is the one where, 
you play as the bad guys. That's why you get these these new new ways to play as the bad guys to go through a mission, which is very cool. Now, to put it all back in. Uh, a little bit of a, a bend there. You can kind of see that in the light. That's all right. Okay, I'm unboxing this one. Thank you. All right, so first box here of the expansion is Wayne Manor. You're going to give me the other box so I can show it. That's what I was doing. Uh, no, so they're very much different thicknesses, which is kind of funny. But they don't. Really. Yeah, I don't know. I thought they did. Maybe they don't. I saw them put together anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, kind of. No. Yeah. Anyway. So, so cool. I think it actually goes this way, though. I want to say. I don't know. That's fine. How about I unlock the smallest of them? This one. All right. I'm going to open the Wayne Manor expansion. So these expansions, I always really like how Mons does these expansions on their games because they always had a lot of game content to it. It's not just minis. It's not just like a, oh, here's a box of other characters. It's Here's another game board and paper in there. Uh, a new scenario booklet. Like the, all the expansions for Conan were great. Uh, same with the expansion for Mythic Battles Pantheon. Just I, I, I really like all the additional content that they do add. A little quick here as well. Down here. All right, hero sheets. You don't need to see the hero sheets. You've seen them already. Just so you get new heroes. Oh, look at Batwing. Very cool. Okay, so again, you're gonna get two different languages. Uh, here's the English one. Here's the campaign. Uh, very similar to the other stuff. You get the art, you get some new uh, rules, if there's new rules, and then missions, which is always a blast. Uh, some different layouts there, looks cool. Can you get the upper, um, this is exciting. You're gonna like this one, Cam. Mm-hmm. You get Oracle, which I thought is really cool. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. Now that is a a bigature, a megature. You get the cards here. That is the big about that. that we probably always lost. <laughs> For now. Alright, so <laughs> So um instead of a paintbrush, you probably need like a paint roller, like you'd paint a room for this guy, I feel. But uh yeah, he's he's really on there, which is nice. Very, very good base. Little tiny arms, love it. Very cool. I uh, would have appreciated a giant penny. That would have been good, funny good. too. So cool. You get the bats here. Let me get the pointer out. Um, getting good detail here. I like the the swirls they do. It's very comic book cartoon like, which I appreciate. And the bats have minimal detail, but enough. I mean, it's it's what you need for that. This is like a toy. Is it the size this of the is toy? this is great. You even have a little flat screen you could paint some scribble on or whatever. She's looking down at it, reading her her stuff. This is okay. Get the uh, kind of the robot suits here. You got all this like stuff that's meant to uh, protect it, and then of course you got some characters too. I never knew that there was. A really, I love that. Look at that. That is great. It'll be really cool with some like highlights to, to really show off well. It's a bat suit. Very, I love the uh, the fact that there is tread on the bottom of the shoe. Appreciate that. I like how he's not actually on the ground. That's a nice touch. Love the hair. Very cool. Again, good pose. Um, yeah, the fingers are hit or miss on a lot of these. Like they're kind of there, kind of not. You got the main, like Hulk Buster version of Batman, which I do like. Very cool. Like the like you know jetpack there and stuff. And you even got Alfred ready to fight. Love it. Glad Alfred got some got some love in this. All right, that dinosaur though, that is great, great, great detail on it too. That dinosaur. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess this goes on. 
flat tray, but it seemed to work okay. And then, underneath that, is the, uh, the game board. So again, you've seen kind of the, the boards and how that works. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a long one. There's Wayne Manor. And then, you have these like overlay tiles where you can put different, uh, different pieces. It looks like they're the same on both sides. Where you can put uh, some variants in the game board itself and then the trays. And the only thing I want to punch out here the bat is the bat symbol. Okay, that's cool. Come on. There you are. Serves no purpose in the game. This is cool. May as well use that space for something, right? It's fine, not bad. No, is it? Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. I still need it. Alright, so the only thing with all this foam is I, I won't know where each one went. <laughs> I do. Alright, well here, take it away. Alright, next up we got the Arkham Asylum expansion. Again, a convenient rip. Was it supposed to be like that? <laughs> I don't know. I imagine it just came from, from shipping and moving around. Uh, so far, I've not had any damage on the boxes themselves, even though that box on the outside was damaged, which is good. It's got this mask there. That's cool. Whoa. Yeah. That cool. All right. So again, got it in both languages. Hopefully this is the English one. It is. You get the expansion there. Very cool art. As always, to put the round. That's not they had a, a, a wealth of different art they could have used. Get these in here. And a little thumbprint print reader and stuff like that. It's just fun. Alright, so we got, we got Clayface Joker here. Very cool. And you got uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Not the same, you'll be able to paint them a little bit differently, which would be nice. Uh, Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig. Very cool. Uh, and then of course these like uh, kind of crazy people, but they're, you know, they're, um, they got the, the armor there and everything. So, uh, this guy has, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that's toilet paper. I'm kidding. This is like the swooshes as he punches, which is kind of neat. You got uh, the doc from Back to the Future. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it just kind of looks like it. I like the hammer. Again, really well done there. You got Zaz with his uh, scars or his uh, you know tally marks of all the people he's killed. Again, I appreciate the, the heel, the boot, and everything. I Very neat. Yeah. Some other time. No lid on that one. I think that is toilet paper because it's yeah. Oh, okay, that's his uh, stray jacket. That's what that is. See, that's where the art helps. All right, so again, you have these uh, mm, that looks fine. Yeah. overlay things. I think these are two sided though, so let me take a so look at that. Sort of fun, Dad. So yeah, minus the like bear traps in there, right? Yeah. Oopsies. Uh -oh. Biggie. I can pop out Mr. Piggy. Down here. Yeah, don't, don't pop out all of them here. What I wanted to show. Mr. Piggy. Is that I believe these are two-sided. Yes. So you can come on. Do this on the board and maybe in one mission it's this. On another mission it's this. So you only get two you actually, or you know, however many this is. You actually get double that because they are two sided. And a real quick glance at the art because we gotta appreciate that. Go and move that. So I don't know who, what artist does their game boards, but it's always so good. Which 
just great looking stuff there. Love it. All right. I saw some in the circus. There you go. Now. No, not quite last. Not last? No, there's still this one too. Here is the Versus box, which is kind of cool. Really all it comes with, let me go ahead and open it. Or it should just come with some cards and um, some more miniatures uh, that they kind of threw in there. And then another board, another river board or film board or whatever. Alright, so on this, by the way, the, the cardboard here, very sturdy, very nice. I like it. It's very smooth in texture. So you get another one of these, so you have two now. Take like that. You got your instruction booklet here with some missions to play as verses, and then some more info on how to deal with that. How does it use a battery? A spacer, which well, let's see if there's actually something in there. So the cards. They nice. did one of these in claustrophobia too, and I like if you're gonna have to space something out, this will make it pretty much kind of nice. Uh, some different kinds of gems. These are I don't know how those are used. That's kind of cool. But you can also use this to store like the cardboard tokens and stuff in. Some more miniatures. Let's open that up real quick. Tape. First time we've come across tape. I'm already struggling. Oh, 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 hold on. Tape the strong's gonna rip the whole plastic, huh? The plastic tray. Alright, got one end. Oh dear. Yeah, fall. Oh, so you have these new types of drones, which are a little different. As you can see, they got like the grabby claw, so the gun. These are the people with the um white door. The riot shields, yes, very cool. Great texture all around. Really good hands on this one. Yeah, this is awesome. I love it. Really, really well done there. And then you got these. So these are just different allies for the different groups. These look like they're from uh, Crisis, the video game with their like nano suits or whatever. And then what you have here is this is the, all the heroes that you already got, but in these. Uh, things here for and then some tokens for their uh, use as uh, inside of the uh, the tray for like the river system that they have and that's it that allows you to play the uh, PvP game which just means player versus player so you're fighting against uh, competitively both like that versus the one versus many and I know you guys are waiting for this. This is the Batmobile. Super excited here to come with the start. I, I started a little bit. Oh, did you? A little more, just like tiny. All right. Yeah. Again, on the back, it's just going to show you a little bit of booklet um, because of how this works in the game. Uh, I believe it has its own scenarios as well. Don't know if it's in this rule book or not. Oh, it's so tiny. It is not. It's just just the rules. Just fine. Here you go. It's so tiny. And some tokens. That is so cool. There's your tokens there. Whoa. And the Batmobile itself. Now this is really cool. So one thing they did when they originally made it, they had um, I forget if it was clear or black, like you know, plastic for the windshield. They actually went and changed it up to make it red, and I must say that was a good idea. Uh, the tires do move. I mean, they're not, not that they're really supposed to, and they're rubber, which is awesome. So they're actually rubber. And as you see, that red looks awesome. Looks great in there. Doesn't open up or anything, but this will be really cool to paint up. And really make it nice. You're painting that. And it looks great. Why wouldn't I? You it's kidding? It's already black. <laughs> it is already black. But you could add 
um, qu quite a bit of silver, some you know color and accent marks and whatnot. Okay, so that is awesome. Speaking of painting, I would like to know what you guys want me to paint first. What would you like to see first painted? Uh, comment down below and let me know uh, if there's something that you think, oh, I gotta see how this is painted or I'd like to see how you paint this or whatever. And then you also got some dice. Full unboxing here, you got some dice. And you also have to see which one I'm gonna paint. Yeah, and then, and then let's see if she's actually painting back cow or not. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it, and uh, talk to you next time.